Once you have gathered your party and sit down at the table, the thing you need to consider and talk to everyone about is what kind of adventure should be ran. This is for both the players and the GM. What kind of adventure are you going to run? You could of course run a game and it's not going to work out for everybody. So I recommend asking these questions of your players and of yourself of what kind of adventure that you want to run. 1. Do the PCs matter? Do their stories matter? Do their backstories matter? Does their classes matter? Do their anything matter? Does the game continue on if someone dies? Does the game end if there's a TPK? What do the PCs have in regards to the game? If you're running a game where the PCs lives matter, then you do have to come to the consideration that, okay, you can't run a game that's hyper lethal because the game centers around the PCs. And at the same time, you need to be open about lethality in the game because someone might get attached to their PC too much and might be distraught way too heavily if their PCs die. Should the players show up to the table with elaborate multi-page long backstories or should they just show up and have a character concept and you, bam, you're just rolling with the dice? Answering the question about how the PCs actually matter into the campaign is going to immediately tell you what kind of game that you're going to be running. We also have to ask what themes do we want? Is this going to be a horror based game? Is this going to be an action pulpy noir style game? Is this going to be a high octane high fantasy? Or is this going to be a low fantasy? Is this going to be sci-fi? Is it going to be a mix between? What are the themes of the game? Is there going to be political intrigue or is this going to just be about four epic heroes that do crazy awesome things? Is this not about heroes at all? Is this about adventurers? What is the theme? The theme of not only the tone and style of the world, but also the style of play therein. What is the gameplay emphasis? Is it all about the roleplay with minimal amounts of exploration and combat? Is it all about the combat with minimal amounts of roleplay and exploration? Is it a perfect balance between all the three? Is there even more that you want to go into? Does it go into the backstories of all of the player characters and their relationships with each other? Or is the gameplay emphasis all about the player characters interacting with the world? Knowing what the gameplay emphasis is, is going to easily dictate what kind of story you're going to have, what kind of adventures you're going to be running, and also it's going to dictate what kind of characters are made. Because of course, if it's all about combat, people are going to make combat oriented characters. And if it's all about the role play, then people should not be showing up to the table with a raging barbarian. How much time do we have? This is a big one. If I say I'm going to run Mask of Nier Lethotep, this massive epic long usually takes years long campaign to run but guess what we've only got the summer to play it so we've only got 12 weeks guess what we're not gonna be playing that right how much time do we have i know that it's really hard to predict the future it's definitely tough considering what kind of job that you have and what's going on in your personal life but you do have to sit down and consider okay i know that i'm gonna be moving soon i know i'm gonna be doing this i know this is going to happen I don't have all the time in the world to commit to a campaign. So if you know that you're free for only the next few months, then run a game that is going to start and end in those few months. Don't try running something massive that's going to be too long. And at the same time, if you're running a game where each individual session is supposed to be big, impactful, and crazy and awesome, but each session that we play each week is only going to be two hours long, then you're going to have to cut some content. You're going to have to change some things up because you may think that you've got content for four hours of play, but you're going to have to sit down and cut it back to two hours. How much time do we have is going to change up what kind of adventure that we're running and also the tone and pacing of that game. Once you've gotten all those questions figured out, then we also have to consider, is this going to be a sandbox, a railroad or roller coaster style game? Is this a sandbox where I plop you into a world and there is a whole bunch of different quest hooks and I'm just waiting for you to grab onto one? Or is this a railroad where I plop you down on the main quest and from there you get the A, B, and C options. Maybe sometimes you can create your own D options. Or what typically happens if you don't have that much time to play, a roller coaster style game where I say, hey, this is the adventure. You're going to be given a quest. You're going to follow that quest and there's one way to go. Go. Once you have the answers to all of these five questions, you can easily compile it up and look at what kind of adventures that you're going to be running. Depending on the answers, there could be an adventure module that is perfect for you. You could potentially find one that is going to fit all of your basic needs, but sometimes that's not going to be the case. 
Sometimes you're going to have to sit there and homebrew and make your own adventures. Or what I know a lot of people do is a lot of people take up multiple different adventure modules and mash them all into one. That could be a great way to get a source of inspiration as well as do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Now it's important that when you gather your group, you have these questions in mind. However, there are two styles of doing this. You either one could ask all of your players, hey, what do you want out of this? Or you could too plant your flag in the ground and say, hey world, I'm going to be running this game and it's going to be like this. Who wants to join me? And then you invite players that are willing to join that. Depending on the kind of social group that you have, depending on the communities that you're part of, one way might be better than the other. It really depends on the circumstances that you have. Me personally, I'm a mix between those two. Sometimes I run a game for my personal groups where I say, hey gang, let's talk about what kind of game that we want to run. And then there's other times when I say, hey, I'm going to be running this game. Who wants to join me? And boom, just like that, we get a game. So I'm curious for you all to tell me what questions would you ask in regards of what kind of adventure that you want to run? Are you going to ask people questions all about their player characters? Are you going to ask people questions about all of the intricacies of the world that you've created or the world that they're going to inhabit? What themes are going to be present in this game? What is the gameplay emphasis? What other questions are you going to be asking? Because I would love for you all to tell me down below. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.